Hey guys, Camina the coach here. Long time and this is a horrible perspective. Lord have mercy. Um, <laughs> welcome back. My name is Camina the coach. It has been a long couple of months, like six months or something. And seriously, it is because it isn't because it hasn't been because I haven't had anything to share or because anything's been too terribly crazy. Mostly it's just because I don't have a place to film. And that's the truth. I do have an office, but um, people can kind of hear me when I record in my office. Can I? No, it's too, too bright out here. So, wow. Kamina the coach. Um, this, this video is being recorded from my new home. Uh, I guess my forever home. Um, I'm settling in much better. I'm in Wawapan, Oaxaca, Mexico. Um, I don't recommend people come to Oaxaca. Um, foreigners are gentrifying the heck out of an already poor state. And people can't live. And um, foreigners coming here is just making it worse. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I want to talk about in this video. Um, I guess everybody feels like this everywhere. Um, so it's a little different situation. Mexico is still classed as a third world country, although it is developing. Mexico currently has its first woman president, uh, Claudia Scheinbaum. Um, I have heard, pray tell, that she is actually from Oaxaca, which I, it's just heard. I heard from a Oaxacanian person, so I don't know if it's actually true, but I mean, they're from here, so you would think. Um, so lots of violence behind her getting elected. She is the People's Party instead of the Rich People's Party. She is the People's Party, so, um. Uh, and then, you know, uh, what day is today? Today's the 14th of August, 2024. Um, lots of craziness going on in the United States. As I told everyone, I told everyone 2024 was going to be the year it got real. Uh, all this other stuff has just been playtime up until now. Um, uh, so, woo! you shouldn't do videos while you're driving to work especially especially in countries where the driving is kind of lawless um so even though they have their first woman president this is still a third world country um relatively poor um most of the money in this country is coming from the united states and they are um, very closely tied to the United States economically, um, peso is almost, yeah, lots of currencies directly connected to the dollar though. That's why people are pissed off at the United States right now, but uh, yet another reason. <laughs> but anyways, um, so relatively poor country. And then, so people are fleeing here from rich countries and still working in rich countries online and um, living here on tourist visas and they can afford to pay a lot more so then raising the cost of living especially in places like um, Cabo San Lucas and Cancun, Tulum um, these places are not so we're bringing a lot of money into the country but this money doesn't then translate to the people. It goes to the rich Mexicans that own the stuff that they're renting to the foreigners. Um, it is not going to the people. And more and more foreigners being here is not making life better for them. Well, Camina, why don't you leave? I mean, at this point, where am I going to go? Um, so I had a guy, so it's so different because this is a poor country. Different because, yes, there are people in the United States illegally from
from Mexico, but they are not taking, um, they are not gentrifying the United States. They can't afford to gentrify the United States. Gentrification is when somebody comes into an area with more money and makes it unlivable for the people that are there. So by definition, Mexicans coming, poor Mexicans coming to the United States cannot, um, afford to gentrify the United States. Um, oh, they're bringing crime. The vast majority are not bringing crime. Um, they're not. I, I, I don't know what the, the rate is for, for foreign crime right here. Um, there's not, uh, a police state like the United States here. So I don't know what the numbers are for foreigner crime here. But I'm sure that there are Westerners here cutting up and acting a fool. But um, I wouldn't. Anyways, um, so that's what I'm saying. It, this is not, and you know, for the other countries where they are rioting kick out all the, the, the immigrants, uh, stop bombing their countries, leave them alone, and maybe they could stay in their own countries, um, send them back home, uh, anyways, so I'm pretty, um, so settling into life here, um, trying, while feeling guilty, um, I had a Mexican tell me to go home. Uh, so very different. I can't uh, uh, fault them the way that I fault these rich white countries that want to kick out um, uh, uh, refugees. I can't fault a Mexican for telling me that because it's a totally different situation. Potatoes and potatoes. Seriously, everything he said to me was true. You're taking the job that a Mexican could have. I mean, I was like, I'm here legally. Um, because there are Westerners that are here on tourist visas working, and that's illegal. I was like, I'm here legally, I have a job, blah, blah, blah. He was like, oh, you think you're going to come here with your cape and save people? You're not. Uh, yes, that's that's accurate as well. I'm not, um, I'm not going to save anyone. I'm not here to save anyone, but um, I do know this Western white mentality of I'm going to save you know, the world, that white guilt. So they feel the need to save the world. Um, he said, uh, I'm causing gentrification. I personally am not causing gentrification. Um, there's a lot more, there are people where I live that have a lot more money than me. I live in a very rural part of Mexico and still there are people here that have a lot more money than me. I don't really have that much money. I worked in Iraq for a year and I only, you know, I spent a lot to get settled here. So I really don't have that much money. Not really. So I don't think I'm taking part in gentrification, but when he says, you know, we don't want you here, I think it's more like the plural you and I'm part of part of the problem, even though I'm just one person, I'm still part of the problem, which causes me some degree of distress because I know what it is to live uncomfortably in your own country. Um, so I, I definitely understand that. Um, where could I go? Uh, there's, there's not many places you can buy citizenship and some countries by buying property and stuff. I don't have seventy-five thousand dollars. I don't. I don't have that. Um, so I. I can't. I can't do that. Um, I'm definitely not going back to the United States um, to that sinking ship. But doing my best to um, find a way to at least do no harm on my part. Just being here is harmful. And uh, I, I'm sure after this next election for the United States, a lot more Americans are going to flood down to Mexico.
there's nothing I can do right now at the moment. Right now at the moment, it's doubling what I, my point. Um, there's nothing I can do about this right now. I'm kind of stuck here. Um, I'm a professor at a university, but there just aren't that many options to do what I do anymore because everybody's got the same idea, I guess. My lots of education is online. COVID destroyed my industry. So I usually don't do videos in the car on the way to work because um, the windows are down because there's no air conditioning here. Um, this morning it's kind of chilly because it's rainy season, so my window was up. I just decided I needed to get this out because it's just been sitting in my chest, kind of bothering, hurting, not really hurting is not really the word, causing me some existential angst, uh, especially because there's nothing really I can do about it. So, um, not the greatest video I've ever, ever done. It's been a long time, so I haven't really unpacked anything in a long time, and I feel like I have a lot to unpack um, still. So hopefully, I'm moving to a new place. Hopefully, um, it will afford me a comfortable space to do my videos from, and I can um, unpack some stuff and start putting more productive content out there. But um, if you care about the world and care about people, and you're looking for some place to run, Mexico's not it. So Camino the Coach, sending you love, light, peace, and joy. I'm out until next time.